We have new information on the case today stemming from this dash cam video of an altercation on I-49 in July. So Arkansas State Police Trooper Alexandria Duncan pulled 26 year over 26 year old and held Zapat Alvarado over. This was in Rogers for speeding. Now today he pleaded guilty to two misdemeanor charges in that incident. Now when he was arrested, Zapat Alvarado faced possible felony charges. But today he pleaded guilty to driving while intoxicated and reckless driving. At 42 nine Zakira Banks was in the courtroom and she's joining us now live with more. That's right, Ben County prosecuting attorney Joshua Robinson said he had to decide whether or not these charges or whether to file them because he had to decide whether or not a jury would find Zapet Alvarado guilty. Mr. Zapet was charged with what he pled guilty to. Um, you know, for better or worse, I think it, it highlights just the difficulty of the case. Angel Zapet Alvarado appeared in Benton County Court via Zoom and spoke through a translator. The charges stem from this Arkansas State Police dash camera video showing him wrestling with a trooper. He was arrested on charges of battery, resisting arrest, failure to yield, and speeding and driving without a license, all which could have carried much more severe punishments. I do think that I, do think that I could have, in good faith, charged him with other crimes. Um, I just tried to really, um, you know, kind of check in and, and see what was the reality of a conviction at the end of the day. Um, so I ended up making a judgment call about what I think a jury would do in the end. Zapet Alvarado's defense attorney says he's satisfied with the plea deal, but says he thinks the trooper used excessive force. I believe he was defending himself from the moment that the trooper yanked the door open and, and went hands on within a couple of seconds and then tased him around 13 times punched him in the face, choked him, and shot him in the head. When asked about possible legal action against ASP, he said, We do plan to keep all options open at this point. Zapet Alvarado was sentenced to 58 days in jail, which he's already served. He was also ordered to attend a rehab program and pay $850 in fines. Mr. Zapet is relieved to have this uh, part of the case over with. Um, he does have some other things that he's got to address coming forward with his immigration status. Now, Zapet Alvarado has 180 days to finish that rehab program. And as for his immigration status, his defense attorney says that it's a separate case. Live in Benville, LaKyra Banks, 4029 News. Now, though Zapet Alvarado is being released for the charges he pleaded guilty to, questions still remain about his status. 42 Nines Abner Sosa talked to his attorney about what's next for him. Well, Angel Zapet Alvarado is still being held here at the Benton County Jail. His attorney says he's now being held by Immigration and Custom Enforcement. Aaron Cash confirmed with 4029 News that Zapet Alvarado is undocumented, but he says he's been working on getting his residency well before the Arkansas State Police altercation. Cash says a defendant has a wife and child who are both U.S. citizens. At his arraignment today, the judge advised Zapet Alvarado that pleading guilty could impact his efforts in becoming a citizen. They say that in every case where someone's undocumented, and so it's just a, a general blanket uh, protection that's in place. Um, I don't anticipate that it will affect his immigration status uh, being approved, um, but it will be something that we'll have to address and bring up. And Cash says he plans to file a request for bond with the immigration judge over Sapet Alvarado's case. Live in Benton County, I'm Abner Sosa, 4029 News.